friends, I'm Ellie, welcome to Cardboard Design. You know, it's almost Halloween. Let's prepare Halloween decorations. Today, I will show you how to build a Halloween house with a cute bedroom for kittens from cardboard. I will wallpaper the walls and floors in a Halloween theme with dark tones to create a feeling of fear. That's creepy! Let's start with the bedroom. I will make a simple bed, covering the cardboard with orange paper. Fold the edges neatly. I will need a mattress the same size as the bed. So I will have to cut down the piece of cardboard I have. Add lots of cotton to make a very soft mattress. Cover the outside with a fabric with floral patterns. Fold the edges neatly, then use scissors to cut off the excess. Next, I will make a blanket. I used orange fabric, pleated it. Decorate around with gemstone thread. Add a cute Halloween sticker on top. I used a lot of white clay to make the headboard. Plasticize the clay, rolling it to shape. Do you know what shape I will create? Of course, I'll make a kitten headboard. I used pink paint to decorate the ears and nose. We will need glue to make a coat for the kitten. Cover the clay with milk glue. Then add a thin layer of cotton on top. Fold it up and it's fine. Add a pair of big eyes to the kitten. Use pink powder to make the kitten's cheeks blush. Don't forget to attach whiskers to the kitten. Now, I use purple clay to make a witch's hat. Take a sufficient amount of clay, roll it into a ball and form it into a hat shape. Decorate with black clay fibers and a little yellow clay and you're done. That's creepy! Next is the dome for the bed. I will use white, orange and red lace to make it. Decorate further with a bit of black gemstone thread. To increase the horror, I made a bat on the railing. Use black nail polish to coat the bat evenly. Happy Halloween! Add a rainbow staircase. Next, I will make a Halloween themed shelf. I use purple paper to wrap the outside of the shelf. Put the pieces together to form a shelf. Add lots of sparkling gemstones around the edges. Paste a cute little bat sticker. Next, I will show you how to make a witch broom. It's very simple. Let's see. This broom will do many things.
let's make some more magic books. I used pink for the cover of the book. Decorate the outer edge with yellow string. Stick some Halloween stickers on top. I will make a special bag for Halloween. Let's deal with the zipper first. Now let's shape the backpack. I will draw a pumpkin shape on orange foam. Use scissors to cut along the drawn line. Stick the zipper on and the hardest part is done. I added a little more decoration to clarify the pumpkin's shape. Add a horror face to the pumpkin. Attach the strap and you're done. I will make some more decorations on the wall shelves. I use some white clay to make a small candle shape. Continue using the clay to make some decorative poison bottles. Use a felt tip pen to draw some scary pictures on top. <gasps> the house already has a somewhat scary look. I will make a larger table to hold more potions. The table will be orange in color, assembled from many small pieces of cardboard. Let's make a few potions of different colors. I use more white clay to mold some cute little ghosts. Add eyes and mouth to the ghost. The ghost is screaming, it's scary. I will need to know the special language of witches to be able to understand this magical book. I added a simple orange chair to match the people. For the living room, I need a sofa. I will make a simple pink sofa. Put the parts of the sofa together and decorate to your liking to create a horror feeling. Two more really soft mattresses. I will make two cute pillows from clay. Roll the dirt around and create a cute cat paw shape. Finally, I will make a simple round table for the living room. So the Halloween house is completed. How do you like it? Does the house give you a feeling of fear? If not, don't go yet. There are still more horrors behind. Let's see. Wee!
Next will be the gorgeous, but also very scary witch castle. I'll show you how to make a gorgeous witch castle with pumpkin carriage from cardboard. For each different room, I will paint the walls and floors a different color. I'll start with the sofa for the living room. This sofa will be pink. I split the cardboard in half so I could make a backrest for the sofa. Cover it with a pink cloth, neatly folding the edges. Put the parts together. Add three very soft mattresses. I used round black beads to make sofa legs. Decorate the sofa with black lace. Make a simple table for the living room. Bottle caps will be recycled to make table legs. Use black lace to decorate. I use purple clay to make a Halloween cake. Make a few more small candies to decorate the cake. Pumpkins are indispensable for Halloween. I need a very large pumpkin so I can make a pumpkin card. Cut a few holes to make car doors. Add curtains and install doors to the car. Continuing with the wheels, I need four of them. Next, I will do the bathroom and kitchen on the second floor. To make the kitchen table, I stack many cardboard pieces on top of each other. Wrap outside with pink paper. Add kitchen cabinets and oven. For the kitchen surface, I used a black stone pattern combined with a small white sink. I made a simple gas stove for cooking. Make a few more small pumpkins for cooking from orange clay. A 
A simple purple shelf made up of many small cardboard pieces. And two small drawers below. The shelf is very large to store a lot of food. Add a spider web carpet to make it less empty. Next! I'm going to make a spooky toilet. The ghost shaped toilet lid will be the highlight. I will make a black horror bathtub full of poison inside. I will paint the outside of the castle pink. Now, let's make the bedroom and roof for the castle. For the canopy, I will use all pink. I will make a cute bed for the bedroom. I used pink fabric to cover the cardboard decorated with black lace. Add some small red pillows. What a lovely curtain. Two more watchtowers next to the bedroom. Finally, add doors and stairs to complete the castle. Would you like to live in a castle like this? What if we could sit in that pumpkin car? But it's not over yet. Please wait for the surprise at the end. Let's continue with Hello Kitty's oh. two-bedroom Halloween house. Do you want to know what the combination of Hello Kitty and Halloween would look like? Let's watch it all to find out. For the first bedroom, I'll use pink walls and floors with a Halloween scary pattern. I will make a staircase in the middle to separate the two bedrooms. To create a rainbow effect, I use foam in different colors to make the stairs. Arrange them in the following order. It will be very beautiful. For the second bedroom, I will use orange for the walls and floor to add more horror. I will make the bed first. For this first bed, I will use pink paper. Border decorated with purple lace. Next will be a mattress. I will use pink fabric to cover the cardboard. Fold the edges neatly, then cut off the excess.
decorate with some purple lace to create a highlight. I will draw a picture of Hello Kitty on cardboard to make the headboard. Use a folding knife to cut according to the drawn shape. Create volume then cover the outside with white fabric. The bed's outer edge is made of purple velvet zinc. Add eyes, mouth and whiskers to Hello Kitty. I added a purple hat and bow to match Halloween. I use purple clay to make a scary night lamp. Shape the clay into a crescent moon shape. Add a scary face to the moon. I used the little white clay and rolled it into a ball to make a cloud. <laughs> Decorate the bedroom with some scary objects. Looks scary too. Next to the kitchen, I will make a large refrigerator in the shape of a coffin. Just hearing it sounds scary, right? The refrigerator will be purple and divided into two compartments. Add a little decoration to the refrigerator door to increase the horror. Let's make a cake for Halloween. I used white and black clay and added some decorative details. Assembled small rectangular pieces of cardboard to make the kitchen table, covered outside with red bricks. Don't forget to add a little horror element. The kitchen surface will have a simple black stone pattern. Add a few essential utensils to the kitchen. Add a few jars of spices for cooking. I will make another purple wall mounted kitchen cabinet. Create a highlight with cute Hello Kitty Ghost shaped kitchen cabinet doors. Add horror potted plants for decoration. <laughs> Let's make two chairs for the kitchen for our two friends to sit and eat cake. I will make a chair in the shape of a hand bone. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Glue bottle caps will be recycled to make chair legs. Continue.
continue with the second bedroom. For this bed, I'm going to make it yellow. Decorated with black lace. The cushion will also be the same black color, but I will decorate it differently. I use yellow and orange lace to decorate the cushion. For the headboard, I won't use fabric anymore but will use clay. I chose red clay to match the room. Attach additional parts to Hello Kitty's face. Add a small green hat. Pumpkins are indispensable for Halloween, so I will make a pumpkin-shaped night lamp. Look at that glowing pumpkin. It's so scary. I will need a wood stove to cook the poison. Add some ingredients to the pot. Boil it then recite the spell to create poison. I will make two more purple sofas for the living room. The end result will be a simple orange-yellow round table. Add a ghost-shaped candle for decoration. So the house that combines Hello Kitty and Halloween has been completed. Do you like it? Please like, share, subscribe to see more great videos. Finally! Happy Halloween!